Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I would love if you would consider subscribing and becoming part of my little fragrance community. Here we talk about all things fragrance, home decor, and sometimes fashion. So if you're interested in those things as much as I am, definitely consider hitting the big red button. We also do a lot of giveaways and lots of other exciting stuff. Today I have a Delina exclusive unboxing. I am so excited to finally have this fragrance in my collection and I wanted to share this moment with you guys. So if you're interested then stay tuned and without too much further ado let's get started okay so as you can see from the title of the video today I will be doing a Delina exclusive unboxing for you I'm really really excited um, any of you who have been following my channel for any length of time already know my history with this particular fragrance and how much I've been wanting it in my collection um, so I do have a couple of things I will share with you before I go ahead and open it it is still currently um, wrapped in cellophane um, I haven't taken it off because I wanted this to be a real true unboxing with you guys um, Before we get started, I will let you know that I got this from fragrance by fragrance by dot ca which is a Canadian fragrance company They have amazing shipping times really good prices and a pretty good selection of fragrances as well This video is not sponsored and I purchased this with my own money But I always get people asking me where are safe places to buy perfumes which companies are legit and I can tell you that I have ordered from numerous, numerous companies, um, Fragrance X, Fragrance Buy, Perfume Online, Fragrance Net, all of them are legit. So in my experience, I have never had an issue with any of those companies. So uh, yeah, before I unbox this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my history and show you um, a dupe that I have here at home as well. Okay, so before we get started, um, if you guys have been watching my channel for any number of months, you know that I have had First Kiss Exclusive from Laird for quite a long time. This is one of the very first fragrances I bought when I started getting into perfumes way back in the beginning of quarantine. And Laird is a pretty reputable company for making both their own creations as well as their individual notes and replicas of other fragrances. Um, this has been one of my favorite fragrances for quite a few months. But I believe the main difference between this one and Delene Exclusif is that this one actually doesn't have a rose note, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so anyway, this one I have loved um, since I first got it. It doesn't look like I've put a huge dent in it, but I do have so many fragrances already. Um, and yeah, trust me, this is one that I just... I absolutely love. I've been wearing it for a really, really long time. Something else I also really like about Laird is I do like their bottles. I really like their caps. I like the simplistic labeling and I just like the simple little bottle design. So yes, I've been loving that one. This has been on like my top, I think on my top 10 for life perhaps as well in a couple of different videos. Um, so I actually had a friend of mine who lives in Montreal, Canada sell me her decant um, that she had purchased because she was not in love with um, Delina Exclusive. So she had this decant, she sprayed it once, she didn't care for it, and I offered to buy it from her. And the second I smelt the real Delina Exclusive, I knew that I wanted a bottle of it. Um, it totally took away any questions I had in my mind about should I just order the... I do have to say that although the Laird dupe um, of First Kiss Exclusive is amazing and very very similar i would say they're about 98 99 percent similar there is a very slight difference um, and the difference for me is that the real delina exclusive has a creaminess to it it has this um rosy creamy quality i have a hard time explaining it but it just um, how can I say this without sounding cheesy? It like caresses your nose, <laughs> so to speak, whereas um, the dupe is a little bit more strong, uh, sort of more pungent. That sourness that you get, if you've ever smelt Delina Exclusive, you know that it's kind of a sweet, sour, woody um, fragrance. It's like everything all rolled into one. And this one here has a little bit more of a... Um, kind of a strong, more pungent opening. Not in a bad way, I absolutely love this. I think that the tartness in here is beautiful. Um, that's part of what I love about Delina Exclusive. I love that tartness mixed with that sweetness, mixed with the woodiness. It is just absolutely to die for. Um, but this one just has, it lacks that smoothness. It lacks that 
um, 2%, 3% difference that makes the real one what it is. That's kind of been my experience with most dupes is that there are some really, really good dupes out there, but a trained nose, not that I'm super trained, I'm not a pro by any means, but if you've smelt numerous fragrances before, um, you will be able to pick up on that difference. And that doesn't mean I no longer like First Kiss Exclusive. It's an amazing dupe. Um, it just means that I, I felt a big enough difference that I wanted to get my hands on the real one. So that's really all I have to say about that. Um, sorry for this rather long intro, but now you know how I came to have a bottle of Delina Exclusive in my collection. Now we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. And this is what you see when you first take the top off. Just the bottle alone, you guys, is like every woman's dream, I feel like. This is such a masterpiece. It's such a beautiful piece to have in anybody's collection. Ever since I first saw this bottle circulating around on Fragrantica and YouTube and social media, I just had to have this for my collection. I knew that I wanted it so badly. It was just a little bit out of my price range. Um, but yeah, I kind of always knew that I would have a bottle of Delina or Delina Exclusive sitting on my counter. So it is very carefully um, packaged. I absolutely love the packaging. This is velvet. Um, this is the type of box that is definitely worth keeping, especially if you ever plan to rehome it. Not that I ever plan to rehome this one. Um, so we'll just take the box, the bottle out. It's difficult to do with only one hand. <laughs> And this is a close-up of what the bottle looks like. So the only difference between this bottle and the original Delina is that this one says Delina Exclusive on the bottom. It also has these really beautiful little rope tassels around the side. It has the silver cap. You can see my lens, highly awkward. Also my pajamas, please excuse them. Um, and then on the very top, you have this little rhinestone, this little pink rhinestone. And the cap, of course, this bottle is pretty much exactly the same as the other Delina. The cap, of course, I already know without even taking it off, is very heavy duty. Um, these little tassels feel very luxurious and um, they're just super nice. The bottle is um, almost like a ceramic. It feels like a ceramic kind of a glass or something. And yeah, I just, I love the shape of this bottle overall. It just looks so feminine and so pretty. Delina Exclusive opens with bergamot, pear, and lychee. So when you first spray this, you definitely do get um, quite a tart, fruity, sweet opening with a little bit of citrus with that bergamot. Um, the original Delina had a note of rhubarb, which is missing from this one, but I didn't really notice that it was missing. Like to me, this still has a little bit of a sour, almost like a sour tart opening. In the heart, you have rose, incense, and oud. Again, I don't get a lot of oud when I smell this. Some people really do. I don't pick up on the oud very much at all. To me, the oud is like a very background supporting player. Um, it just gives it some depth and some character, but I really don't pick up a ton on the oud. If you're somebody like me who very easily would get a headache, oud for me can definitely be a little too much, and uh, it's definitely not too much in this fragrance. I would never have even picked it out if I didn't know it was in the notes. It's just really, really beautifully blended, very, very beautifully done. And then in the base, you have more woody notes. You have amber and you have vanilla. So it's very sweet, it's very feminine. So the amber gives it a little bit of richness and warmth. The vanilla gives it like the smoothness and the sweetness. And it almost has like a gourmand aspect to it. Like it almost smells like it has chocolate in it, um, like white chocolate. To me, this is basically like a tart lychee mixed with the most smooth, velvety, creamy, delicious rose you can imagine, and then combined with a very gourmandy, feminine vanilla. That is what I get from this. It's just, it's really indescribable. You have to smell it yourself. This is a masterpiece. This is one of my absolute all-time favorite fragrances. I'm so, so happy 
to have the real one in my collection now. It's been a long time coming and like I said, what really did it for me was finally um, sniffing the decant of the real one. That was just what really solidified it for me. I'm gonna take the cap off and give it a spray here and then I'm gonna compare um, these two side by side. For those who are interested, I'm just gonna kinda see what the immediate difference is when I spray them because I've never actually sprayed them side by side before. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the cap on it, and this is what the cap looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very heavy duty, very heavy weight, and yeah, very nice. And then we have the layered one, and let's give them each a spray now as well so you can see what the atomizer looks like. So my kitchen is, my whole kitchen <laughs> smells like Delina right now. It's amazing. This is also, by the way, one of the strongest and best performing fragrances I've ever, ever, ever smelled. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. So first I'm gonna give a smell to my brand new one. I don't know if you guys saw the atomizer there, but the atomizer is phenomenal. It's, yeah, really, really nice. Oh my gosh, it's so, so beautiful, you guys. It smells very similar to the original Delina, but it has this sweetness about it and it has this um, this creaminess to it that the original Delina didn't have. It's like if you took the original Delina and you added some chocolatey vanilla type of notes and you took out that super sour rhubarb or just toned the rhubarb down a little bit. Not that I didn't like the rhubarb, I loved the rhubarb in the original Delina. I just, for myself, I prefer more um, gourmandy, sweet, creamy fragrances. Beautiful. So that is the original, and this is the dupe. Okay, so the first thing I can tell immediately upon smelling is that the dupe has, um, it's got more of like a synthetic-y type of a vibe to it. It's also a lot sharper. Like I said, it's got a bit of a sharpness to it that the Delina Exclusive doesn't have. It's still really nice. And if you were to smell them side by side, you'd have, or not side by side, but if you were to smell them on somebody walking by you, you'd have a difficult time telling if they were wearing, I think the real Delina or um, the, the dupe. But the real one just has this creaminess to it. Okay, so I've just sprayed it on my hand and I'm just giving it a sniff. The Delina Exclusive has this beautiful, creamy nature about it. It's got this creamy quality I can't explain that isn't in the dupe. And it is just absolutely gorgeous, you guys, on the skin. It's a soft, vanillic, sweet, woody, and a little bit tart. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. The other thing about Delina Exclusive is it projects. It is a very, very strong performing fragrance. I actually wore this one yesterday uh, to the gym and I had sprayed myself with, I think, three or four sprays, which isn't too excessive, I don't think. And my daughter said it was very, very strong. She said, oh, it smells nice, but it's too strong, mom. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was in the car and I couldn't really smell it on myself that much in the car anymore. Um, but once I got out and I started moving about outside, um, I could definitely um, smell it on myself and as I was at the gym and it just has the most beautiful, beautiful trail. It has the most beautiful scent bubble. It just has this absolutely gorgeous creamy quality that I can't explain. It's beautiful, it's tart, it's sweet, it's feminine. It does have a sexiness to it, it's unique. Um, I'm pretty sure I can say that at least where I live, I live in a pretty small area, like a small city. I honestly think I might be the only person in my city who has this. I really do because um, just where I live and um, I don't think I've ever smelt this on anybody. I only have about 17,000 people in my community and um, I just feel like, I don't know, maybe it's me, but I feel like where I live a lot of people don't know about <laughs> certain fragrances like this. And so yeah, obviously in the bigger centers, you um, people might be able to smell it on you, but uh, it is still a very, very unique scent and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's definitely worth a sniff. 
don't blind buy it um, based on my recommendation. I've told you guys before, I don't think there's anything, uh, there's no such thing as a completely safe blind buy. Um, but it is absolutely beautiful and uh, yeah. So what will I be doing with my layered uh, dupe? I think I'll obvious, obviously keep it and I'm gonna use it up because it still smells beautiful um, and it's a perfectly good fragrance. I might even layer the two and just see how that goes layering them together. Um, yeah, but I'm really, really happy to have the the real Delaney exclusive in my collection for sure. And yeah, that's all I really have to say today, guys. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed this unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed the little comparison and maybe it cleared up some questions that you might have had between whether you should get the real one or the dupe. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write me in the comments below. Also, head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I've been conversing with quite a few of you on there and building some really great relationships, and it's a lot of fun. So definitely head on over and follow me if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.